guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome welcome i'm jalika um this is my youtube channel jalika <laughs> and today i'm gonna be teaching you how to do these mermaid locks did i just want some glass no oh no we're good we're good this how long these mermaid locks are. <laughs> I can't even get any farther than this. <gasps> you guys, I did some on some glass. <gasps> wow! I do apologize if I'm a little bit stuffy, you guys. I'm just feeling a little bit under the weather. I think I have a head of cold. But it is what it is. This was very highly requested that I do a detailed um, tutorial on, on these locks. So you guys got it. They're to about my knee. And I am 5'8". And this is how long the locks are. Over here. From the top to the bottom. These locks are about 54 inches. I watched a lot of tutorials on butterfly locks and how to do them short and um, maybe like two or three how to do them long. And I just came up with my own way how to do them. And these are how they turn out. Let me do a quick 360. Don't worry about my makeup, you guys. I was trying something different today. It just... And this is how it looks. So, let's get straight into the tutorial. For the base, you're going to need these rockin' locks. They are the 2X Mambo locks. I'll put the link in the description. And they are 20 inches. I got mine in the color 2. You're going to need spring twist hair in the color T27. Um... Well, they call it spring hair by Beyond Beauty. It is this. And I got it in the color T27, but it is ombre, so it will look like this. And also in the color 2, because my hair is not jet black, so I got it in 2. I used spring twist hair mainly to wrap the hair. Some of them have water wave. And then this color right here it is water wave and to secure them I use bohemian braid the 20 inch one in the color TP 27 slash 613 and I also used some 1B to secure I it was really just a mix of a lot of colors you're gonna need a crochet needle to do your initial braids you're gonna need obviously a tail comb and the red jam they are very very heavy um i do not wrap them up at night and i've had them in for, oh yeah that's what i was looking for i've had them in since august 9th so i've had them in for a month and a week and this is how they look so far um i was planning on keeping them in for two months let's see how it works but I'm gonna just go ahead and redo some of these and show you guys how I did it. So I have taken out one of them. I don't know how this is gonna look because this is not my good side. My hair is sectioned off. And so this is what it looked like when my hair was out. My mom did scallop parts. Um, they are medium size i have 38 dreads in my hair i just counted them i have 38 dreads so that means that i had 38 single braids um made into dreads so first i'm gonna put in my leave-in this is this was on freshly washed hair um or wash and dried hair put in some leave-in conditioner this one is nice and moisturized while it's being protected because the great thing about faux locks is that they are protecting your hair completely 
so I just did that. I don't remember if I put any cream, but I remember putting oil at my roots. Oil at my roots. And then I'm gonna just take the strands, three strands. I'm gonna take this little section, this little part, and just braid it. You don't wanna do it too tight, B. I'm gonna just braid it all the way down. I'm gonna get my crochet needle and one mumble lock. Just one. And you kinda wanna be careful with these locks because they are quite delicate. You don't wanna pull on them because they might like shed. So I've got one. This is how long it is when it's folded and then when it is not it's about as long uh, it, it is longer than the locks themselves I'm gonna show you what to do basically you just take this you take your crochet needle you put it through the root of your braid like so and you put you put the mumbo lock in the crochet needle. You see, you put it in the crochet needle, you pull it through, and then you kind of pull this down a little bit until this, this part is very, very short, okay? Then you kind of want to just braid the beginning part of this until you can't really braid anymore because there's three parts. You want to braid that and it's very, very short, so this will be the length of your lock. Let's see how far down it is. You still can't see how far down it is, but it is the length of the hair. It is the same length. You're going to take your rubber band, overlap it over itself, and Gently pull the lock through because it sheds like really easily. You gently pull it through. Two times is good. So now you have your braid and your mumble lock here. Like that. Um, whatever color you're going to take your spring twist hair, you're going to start to separate it. This is how I separate mine. I just take my thumb and kind of just pull it apart until it gets to the end. Like that. And just separate it out like that. I take this part, I wrap it on my finger like this, and I push it through, and I take the spring twist here with the hook like that, and pull it through. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down like that, like so, like so, like that, and start to wrap it. If I'm wrapping, if you're wrapping with your right hand, you want to wrap it towards your left hand. If you're wrapping with your left hand, you wrap it towards your right hand to be able to execute the thumb method correctly. But you want to wrap that around the root, not too tight. Okay, because if you do it too tight, you'll end up looking, you know, so, yeah. And you'll end up feeling terrible. You think it'll be hard to sleep. You don't want to do it too tight. That's already a little bit too tight. So you don't want to do it too tight. Um, and you just want to wrap that regularly around maybe three times. And then begin to wrap down the lock, putting your thumb. This is the thumb method to give it that distressed look. I'll come up close so you guys can see. See, so as I'm wrapping it around, pull up my thumb, press with my index, and then wrap it back around my thumb again. Some, some wraps, you can skip the thumb part, 
and just do the regular wrap if you don't want it as distressed as mine are and to kind of give it a neater look and then kind of distress it every now and then it really depends on your own artistic preference but I did the butterfly all throughout my locks so um, and then you do that so wrapping towards the hand that you're not wrapping with is very crucial in doing the thumb method I found so once you get to the end you want to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping I kind of like to grab the little stray hairs and just continue to wrap them at the bottom of the lock don't wrap too tight but wrap until you run out of hair all the way down so I ran out of hair there as you can see it's not coming out this is one third of the lock this is one third it looks like it's very very soft I'm gonna try and go in with the with this color with the t27 however you want your hair it's your art it's your hair however you want to do it you do it that way and don't let nobody tell you it looks ugly cuz you look great okay you know take your hair do the same thing you did when you were up here when you're up here, you're going to take it, put it towards the hair like this, kind of like twist it around itself just a little bit towards this hand with your non-leading hand. And then once you have that, now you start to wrap towards your non-leading hand. You wrap up twice and then start wrapping back down you might need to bite it as you can see with the motion of my thumb I'm holding this like a phone, like how moms hold their phones when they're like cooking in the kitchen. Anyways, so, do you see like the motion with my thumb? I have it back here and then I kind of move it forward as I am wrapping. And I'm not wrapping too tight, but I'm also not wrapping too loose. wrap down and then wrap back up again at the bottom just a little bit so now we have this much left this much does not need a whole entire spring twist so what we can do is we can take a spring twist and separate it in half and then take half of the spring twist take the hair do the same thing that I did up here when adding this hair wrap up and then back down again
So as you can see, we've reached the end. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start. You're gonna wrap it tightly at the bottom and then start wrapping back up. But you're gonna, you're gonna pinch the bottom like this. And once you've wrapped up a little bit, you can let go of the bottom and then you can wrap back up the hair tightly. And then once you reach like maybe about this much left, you want to just you want to just wrap it around itself over and over again until you run out of hair. So now you have your distressed bohemian mermaid lock extra long but there's an extra step that I do to secure them because of how long that I wanted them to stay in but you could just stop at this step and then continue to do the rest but like I said I had the bohemian hair <clears throat> the bohemian braid which is optional I take the bohemian braid kind of just separate it out just a little bit or even if you don't want to get the bohemian hair you can use half of the spring twist that you just had but this is most mostly for a pop of color and I'll just take this like that and wrap it just like how I did the other one and I'll start wrapping it down Tight. You want to wrap it down tight and make sure you're but tight but loose at the same time if that makes sense. So tight but far apart. So see like that like spirals. This kind of added to the bohemian look for me. If you don't want to do it, you ain't got to do it. You feel me? I'm just showing you guys what I did on some of my locks. Like I said, some of them I used the black bohemian braid. And then you just take it like that, and there you go. <laughs> there is. The Bohemian Braid. So, that's basically it. I'm gonna do it one more time and show you guys again, but following the same exact process. Another thing that you can do is that when you crochet in this lock, you can measure it 
once you get started you can measure against the other locks to make sure that it's at the right length if you want it more uniform i kind of wanted mine you know staggered to look more natural because all hair does not grow at the same pace so i wanted mine to look more natural um so it didn't really it didn't really matter to me but you can measure it and um you can measure it against the other locks that you have and um Rubber band. when you are twisting it around you want to leave out just a little bit so that it has something to grip onto and secure it at the root
I'm gonna take half the half of the spring twist hair that I had from the last lock. I'm gonna kind of like stretch it out a little bit, make sure it's nice and long. I'm gonna take the beginning of it, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the Bohemian braid. And I'm gonna just start wrapping that tight. Oh, well, the curl slipped. That's okay. Just bring it back up and start wrapping it around tight around the braid. Remember, when wrapping with your dominant hand, you want to wrap towards your least dominant hand, and your least dominant hand is gonna do the thumb and the index finger action. Not only is it doing this secure it, but it actually makes it look more distressed if that's like something you're going for. So that's it, it's that easy. You just crochet and wrap, that's it. Crochet and wrap, crochet and wrap. You guys see where this one stops and then the ones that are lower in my head get a little lower than this. You can also like kind of pull it to stretch it. But after doing that, as you can see, it won't, it won't move like the hair won't really move and slide off of the mambo lock because they're secured with that extra layer of protection around it to kind of stop it from moving so there you go there you have it this is how i do my mermaid locks i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i hope that you learned um you know a lot out of it i hope it was easy to follow please comment tell me what i can do better um any questions you have follow me on all of my social media under jalika smith j-a-l-y-k-a-s-m-i-t-h on instagram facebook tiktok um all of that good stuff and make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already Thank you to all of my subscribers for subscribing. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you all. Just make sure to like, hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications if you want to hear more from ya girl. And share. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, anybody who you think might like this hairstyle, anybody who you think might like my channel, you know, any of that and i hope you have a great day god bless ya Ooh, my neck Ooh. why do i be thinking i'm young y'all why <laughs> my neck my bones cracking and everything but yeah, anyway, yeah. this means I love you in sign language. I love you. <laughs> Peace out. And I'll see y'all on the flip. Bye.